Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel for another vlog. Today we have a lot of exciting things going on. I actually filmed a morning routine for you guys and now I am filming a vlog because I have some exciting things to film for you guys and share with you. So today we are going to be putting in some under cabinet lighting in my kitchen area. I am so excited. I have been wanting to do this for such a long time and I wanted to bring you guys along with me as always. You guys enjoy watching decorating and home renovation type of videos. So I knew that I wanted to bring you guys along with me installing them and putting them in, showing you guys a before and after and all of that good stuff. I do also have a Bath and Body Works haul for you guys today. I have some other candles that I got in the mail that I'm also really excited to share with you guys. Today is also interesting as well because we are for sure going back to work in a couple days. So from today when I'm filming this, I go back to work in two days, which it's just absolutely crazy to me. I cannot believe that it's been six weeks, a month and a half of being off. I am ready, but I'm also not ready to go back, if that makes sense, which I feel like a lot of the girls at the salon are feeling the same way. Um, it's just, I feel like we've been living the absolute life the last six weeks, at least for me. I have been doing so many things. I've gotten so many home renovations done decluttering and I've also came to love being outdoors and going on hikes with my puppy dogs and I went kayaking for the first time the other day which was literally so much fun. So I have just had a new appreciation for a lot of things during this quarantine time. But enough of me rambling. I'm gonna go ahead and get to the lights out, show you guys what they look like, and then I'm going to show you guys the before, during, and after as well. So I hope that you guys are excited. If you are not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button down below. And also, if you are not following me over on my Instagram, please do so as well. I always have a link down there in the description box for you guys to follow me. I am doing monthly giveaways and April's giveaway will be over by the time this video is posted, so a new giveaway should be up, so make sure to go check it out. All you have to do is just be active with me here on my YouTube channel and my Instagram page. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get installing these under cabinet lights. Right, so here are the under cabinet lights that I'm going to be using. I will have a link to these in the description box down below. I absolutely love these. They are really great quality and they're a super affordable price as well. So if you guys have been looking for some under cabinet lighting, make sure to check them out. They have different sizing as well. So as you can see, I got four of the lights. I got one 12 inch and then I got three of the 18 inch. So the 18 inch ones are gonna be for this cabinet, this cabinet, and then right here. And then the 12 inch one is gonna go right underneath my Keurig area. So. I'm gonna go ahead and take all of these out to kind of share with you guys what they look like. There is two different options on how to install these. You can hardwire them or just go ahead and plug them into an outlet, which is what I'm going to be doing. So that is what the light looks like. You can see how pretty the brush knuckle is. It is nice because there is two brightness settings so you can decide on how bright you're wanting it. All right, so I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'll be doing. So right here on the side, there is an input. You guys aren't gonna be able to see what that says. And on the other side, there is output. So I'm going to unscrew this little guy right here, which I may need a smaller screwdriver, but we're gonna try this okay. one. So once you take out the little screw, you can just simply pop that out. And then this is the actual connection right here that you're gonna use to plug in to the outlet. I'm just gonna show you guys simply how you put it in and then we're gonna plug it in right here and turn it on so you guys can just see it before I go ahead and get them put up. Now that we have it plugged in, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys the light settings really quick. So this is the first light setting, obviously off, and then this is the brightest. So you can see this is super bright. It's gonna add a ton of brightness into the kitchen, especially under the cabinets. I also wanted to mention too that there's this little button that you can slide to the left and the right, and it kind of changes the color of the lighting. So you can see this one's just kind of neutral. This one's definitely more cool toned, back to the middle, 
and then this one's definitely warmer toned. I really like that because I like things more cool toned, so it is nice to have that option. Before I started the process of putting these up, I wanted to show you guys what I will be doing for these two cabinets right here. So I'm actually using a connector to connect these two so that when I put them up, this connector will just go from here to here so that there won't be any wiring and I can hide it right behind here. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. I just wanted to show you guys that that is an option if you guys have cabinets that are close to each other. I wanted to show you guys kind of a before as well so you can see it is daylight right now. I will insert a shot of me filming at nighttime too because obviously that's gonna be the best time to see them, but this is what it looks like without them. And over here as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get to installing them and then I will show you guys what it looks like after. So they are completely installed now. I am absolutely in love with how they came out, especially this part right here I feel like is my favorite. I obviously have all of my Ray Dunn stuff over here, so I really like to have this on display and I feel like the under cabinet lighting has helped so, so much with that. As you can see, I do have it on the cool setting right now, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So this is just like the neutral color, and then this is warm. So let me just kind of step back so you guys can see that. So obviously I really like the cool toned, so I'm not gonna keep it on anything else but the cool toned light, but I really love the way that it turned out. I think it adds so much to the space, and I think it just really displays this area a lot better than it was before. So if you guys have been looking for some under cabinet lighting, I will make sure to leave the link to Get In Light down below for you guys. You will have to let me know what you guys think of how they turned out. In the comments down below, I would love to have a conversation with you guys. I wanted to share with you what I used to tack down some of the cords that I used for the under cabinet lighting. So I picked these up from Target. They're just command strips. They're damage free hanging, which is always great. These were, I think, under $10. I will leave them linked down below for you guys. These are just really nice. I will take them out so you can actually see what they look like. So. This is what it looks like. You just kind of pop the little cord in there and it hangs on to it really nicely. I think this just helped a lot with hiding some of the cords. So if you look up here, right there in the corner, I have one just kind of holding that one up so that this cord would not just be hanging down there. And then I did put one over here as well on this one these are kind of hard to see but right behind there you can see that there is two back there holding them up so they're not hanging down so for the most part this one is not very visible you can just see the cord in the back so I really really like the way that these turned out which you guys have heard me say a million times it is nighttime now so I just kind of wanted to share with you guys what it looks like 
during the nighttime when there's no natural light in here. With all of these lights on, my kitchen is so bright, you guys, especially with the new lighting fixtures that I got in my kitchen. So this is definitely what my kitchen needed, especially with displaying my ray done. I think this area looks the best because all of the Ray Dawn is nice and displayed and lit up. All right, so now we're gonna get into the Bath and Body Works portion of the haul. So I have this box right here that we're gonna go through. I did order this probably a couple weeks ago, but it took a little while to get in, but I am happy to finally have the stuff in because I definitely was running low. So the first thing that I got is some hand soaps. I got Cactus Blossom, which is one of my absolute favorites, and then I got Champagne Toast as well. And then the other one that I got was Japanese Cherry Blossom. I actually went through a ton of my candles, a ton of my hand soaps, and I was all out of my wallflowers as well. And back here, as you can see, I have a wallflower. I have one in my um, half bath as well down the hallway, so I needed to stock up on these. So the first two that I got was Midnight Blue Citrus and Fiji White Sands. These smell so good, and especially now that we're getting into summertime, we're kind of phasing out of spring. It has been so nice here, you guys, in Colorado, knock on wood. <laughs> I hope we don't get any more snow, but you can never be too sure. The next two I got were Cactus Blossom and Saltwater Breeze. And then the last one that I got is another one of my favorites, which is Turquoise Waters. I feel like this is just like a staple scent that you have to get from Bath and Body Works. And then I did pick up one candle. I love the packaging of this candle, you guys. This is Fiji White Sands. So this one is described as fresh cut sugar cane, white nectarine, sandalwood with essential oils. So this one, again, is another one of my favorites and I absolutely love the packaging. There's a bunch of flamingos on it and pretty flowers. Reminds me of Hawaii and I love the pink top as well. So that is it that I got from Bath and Body Works, but now I'm actually going to share with you a package that I got in the mail from a company based here in Colorado. It is called Our Back Porch Candle Company. They messaged me on Instagram and asked if they could send over some candles and of course I said yes because who does not love candles? They sent over three of their candles that they have on their website. I will leave a link to their website in the description box down below. If you guys are interested, I love supporting local businesses here in Colorado, and I absolutely love all of the candles that they sent over, so I highly, highly recommend them. They come in these cute little mason jars as well, which just makes them all that much better. So the first scent that I got is this mint mojito scent. I have already smelled all of these, and I'm absolutely in love. This one is really nice. It's not too strong, but seriously, smells so delicious. I cannot wait to burn these. I'm definitely going to be putting some of these here in my kitchen because these would match with my kitchen coloring so well. The next one that I got is a smaller size candle than the first one that I shared with you guys. This one is in the scent Colorado Sunset. Of course I had to get this one because I just wanted to see what it smelled like. This one definitely, in my opinion, is more of a manlier scent, but I still really like it. I think this one would be great in a bedroom or a bathroom. For the last candle, I saved the best for last. I was so excited about this scent and I am just as obsessed as I thought I was going to be. So this is strawberry rhubarb and I absolutely love the way that this one smells. This one smells exactly like summertime. It is the best smelling candle I have smelled in so long. I cannot wait to burn this. If you are interested, like I said, I will leave a link to their website in the description box down below. And I do have a 20% off discount code for you guys. It is just Molly Nicole. So I will go ahead and leave their website link down below along with my discount code. They have so many different choices and scents to pick from on their website. So make sure to go check them out if you are interested. So now that I have all of the under cabinet lighting done and I have this haul portion of the video filmed, I think I'm gonna go ahead and go out and go hammocking. I'm gonna go ahead and change and then I'm gonna head out. I will be bringing you guys along with me as well so that you guys can kind of see where I go and what it looks like. I feel like it is interesting to see just different parts of Colorado. So I hope that you guys enjoy coming along with me hammocking. I'm very excited. I'm gonna bring some Truly Lemonades, you guys. 
I just have to grab them because I'm absolutely obsessed. They come in a pack of 12. There's four different flavors. This is what they look like. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen me post about them a million times. I tried them for the first time the other day. They are amazing. If you have not tried them, you need to try them. They are kind of hard to find, but I'm telling you, my favorite drink of choice is this. I could literally drink a ton of these, which probably isn't great. It's definitely a nice drink, especially for the summertime. It's nice and light, and I just absolutely love them. So if you guys have tried them, let me know down below if you guys like them or not.